Hi, I'm Hyunwa from KAIST. I'm going to present our recent work, Normal Fusion, Real-Time Acquisition of Surface Normals for High-Resolution RGBD Scanning. Using a single RGBD camera for real-time 3D scanning shows high practicality. For example, a good performance for large-scale scene reconstruction is enabled by voxel hashing. Since an RGBD camera has significant noise, overall and overall use shape from shading to refine the geometry. However, color texture is still limited by the 3D voxel resolution. Texture Fusion proposes a textile structure to reconstruct a high-quality color texture map in real time. However, there is still room to improve the reconstructed geometry. First, the previous Fusion-based approach limits the geometry resolution to the 3D voxel grid, which could be inefficient compared to 2D representations. Second, the 3D correspondence is often not perfectly accurate due to the noise sensor input, resulting in artifacts when merging surface. Our main goal is to solve these challenges to obtain a high resolution of the surface normals and diffuse all the dose of 3D objects in real time. This video shows the real time demo that captures high resolution surface normals of the object. A single RGBD camera provides a pair of color and depth images per frame. To improve depth quality and decouple diffuse albedo, we first estimate the environment illumination using the input images. From the environment illumination, we both diffuse albedo and detailed depths can be jointly optimized through inverse rendering. We repeat this two-step process iteratively to optimize the environment illumination, diffuse albedo, and depth. We store albedo and normal images into the tile-based texture structure proposed in Texture Fusion. Using the tile-based texture structure, we progressively update the albedo and normal texture as follows. We first integrate the enhanced depth map into the previous TSDF. Since our 2D texture space does not correspond with newly updated TSDF, we transfer the previous texture map into the current geometry. Then, we blend the current enhanced map with geometry or texture warp and integration. Now, we explain the challenges when we progressively update geometry and textures. The traditional fusion-based method first estimates the camera pose of the current frame. However, there is an inimitable misalignment in the camera pose due to errors in RGBD camera input. In consequence, the integrated geometry and texture generate a blurry result. To solve this problem, a spatially bearing work field was proposed by Lieder. However, as shown in the photo, the existing geometric information and texture are misaligned, which is critical for capturing the normal texture map with containing geometric information. Therefore, we propose a normal fusion to obtain geometric details while maintaining the registration between the geometric information and the texture map. First, we use the color information to preserve the texture detail. The 3D point of TSDF geometry is projected onto a 2D color image. Based on local window centered on this point, the warp function is optimized to minimize the photometric difference between the color texture matching with the local window. At the same time, we use the normal information to ensure that the warp function does not lose its registration with the geometry. We project the 3D point of the TSDF geometry into a normal texture map. Then, we estimate the warp function that minimizes the geometric differences between the local window created around the points and the TSDF normals. By repeating this for each grid, we finally estimate the spatially bearing warp field that minimizes the difference between the input image and the texture while reducing the differences between the texture and the geometry. Finally, we blend the normal and color textures using this warp field. Here are our results video. We use two input images, a depth map and color map obtained from a single RGBD camera as shown in the top row. Then, we reconstruct the high-resolution geometry and texture simultaneously from them as shown in the bottom row. Our method runs 19 frames per second on a conventional desktop computer. We compare our method with two different fusion methods. The traditional fusion-based method by Nisno et al. has blurry results in both geometry and color. The existing real-time SFS-based method by Wu et al. improves the quality but is still blurred. Our normal fusion achieved the high-resolution geometry and color texture results thanks to geometry-aware texture mapping. This video shows the impact of our normal, noble geometry-aware texture mapping. Without our geometry oil work, we can see that normal textures are erroneously registrated off the edge of the geometry. As these errors accumulate, the texture becomes blurry as indicated by the yellow arrow. In conclusion, we have presented a real-time 3D scanning method that captures high-detail geometry and albedo texture. Our algorithm solves the inverse rendering problem in real-time, yielding photometric normals, diffuse albedos, and illumination in addition to the baseline geometry in voxel grids. We propose a geometry-aware texture mapping that registers the texture space to the 3D canonical space with higher accuracy. Thank you for your attention.